Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. We've got a new hero today. Some of you may have seen him on digital already. It's Skimmer, created by Tesla Coil for Spooky Ghost Rider Comics. He is both a completely original take on a speedster hero, as well as another one of our tokusatsu tribute heroes. I'm a big fan of Skimmer. He gets to fight the Faithful, haven't seen them for a while, alongside Wasteland Ronin Pyre, Definitive Dark Watch, Night Mist, and Lantern Jack, and they'll be fighting in the Fright Zone. Skimmer, of course, comes in a cool box, which says Drake Wing is Skimmer, the fastest man alive. He pilots a prototype military project called the Dragonflight Suit, which lets him soar through the air at supersonic speeds. Support your fellow heroes by gaining information on the villain, neutralizing enemy attacks, and helping your team unleash massive damage. The really cool thing about him, not just his central mechanic, is that he's a speedster support hero, and you don't see those very often. That's all we need to know. Let's take a look at the Faithful. Start of turn, we get the stand in play on the tower side and two servants. Start of the villain turn, throw 15 or more cards in the villain trash. She and the stand flip. And if the Faithful will be dealt damage, reduce it by X for X the number of followers in play, then discard the top card of the villain deck. End of the villain turn, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a target put into play, otherwise discard it. Okay, that's pretty simple. Okay, here we go. Fall from Grace. Villain stand is on its side, Lord's side it is not. Flip the villain in the villain stand. Okay, that was quick. Start of the villain turn. If the faithful did not flip this turn, shove the bottom four cards of the villain trash into the villain deck. And then if it's empty, flip them back. Okay. <laughs> Whenever a card enters a trash, I have the Lord deals the hero with the highest HP, one irreducible radiant damage. That's a problem. And the villain turn, I the Lord deals the hero target with highest HP, four radiant damage. Okie dokie. So yeah, highest is Pyre. Servants are dealing the hero target with the highest HP, two melee damage. At least we can ignore them and focus on the faithful if we so desire. Watch out playing one shots. Let's start with chromodynamics. Oh, I do not want to use the power on that. Oh man, both of his cards make him discard a card. Okay, fine. If I have to discard a card, then I'll use chromodynamics. Discard a card. Highest is skimmer. He takes one. And we'll do two damage to the faithful and two lightning to a servant. Draw a card. The only thing she has that's not a one-shot is mist form. Let's go ahead and just do that and draw two. Okay, he's got nothing but one-shots. Let's unsettling condition. Always start with incorporeal form. He heals two, and that's discarded, so Skimmer gets hit for one. And then he will do three radiant damage to the faithful, hit himself for one, heals one, and he gets a plus one, and he draws one. Skimmer will start off with a Swirling Shield Emitter. Whenever a non-hero target deals Skimmer damage, he may deal the source of that damage one energy damage. Power is Skimmer deals any number of targets two energy damage each destroy this card. We won't do that. Instead, we'll use his base power, Fast Flight. Skimmer deals a target one Sonic damage. Search your deck or trash for an Accelerate card and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck if you searched it. So we'll ping the Faithful for one. Go grab an Accelerate. What could this mysterious card do? We'll find out next round. The Fright Zone plays Alarmed Guard. This card deals here to the second highest HP, X lightning damage, where X is the number of alerts in play. Well, thankfully that's just one, and that can go to Night Mist, who soaks it. All right, Faithful did not flip this turn, so that card goes into the deck, and they flip back over. It's another Servant. Now we have to fight the Servants. End of turn, reveal the top card. It's a Follower, so put them into play. The Executor, increase damage dealt by the Faithful and Followers by one. Oh no. Okay, so these guys are hitting the highest for three now. First one goes to Pyre, the rest go to Night Mist, and then he deals the hero target with the lowest HP three melee damage. If a target is destroyed this way, play the top card of the villain deck, that is Lantern Jack, who heals one and gets a plus one. Okay, we got stuff to do. Half-Life, let's go look for an equipment card. Let's grab the Cherenkov Drive, that's always good. And then go ahead and play that. He'll deal one energy damage to that Servant. Does each down here target zero energy damage? Yes, he does. Power, let's go ahead and use his base power. Draw two cards, discard a card. Draw a card, and then somebody can tap a card and use a power on it. He's got all kinds of good cards. Remember that card that lets Skimmer deal two energy damage to everything? Let's tap that and use the power on it, because that'll just discard it. He deals any number of targets two damage each. Drop one of the servants, and can't hit the faithful, but that's fine. Neat, Pyre actually doing helpful stuff. All right, Mist Form is going to go away, and we are going to call forth. Oh, we're going to call forth with that one and discard the other one so I can get four relics. Yay, amulet. Her power is Void Mage. Reveal the bottom card of your deck, put it in your hand or into play. Astral Premonition. Let's put that into play, just in case. Draw a card. Might need Destruction Fodder, who knows. I'm going to do Unbearable Brightness. And then with his power, he's going to be dealing five radiant damage to something. That means he can take out the Executor. He hits himself for one, he heals one, he gets one, draw a card. 
All right, what's this Accelerate do? Well, it lets you play a card. How strange you might think. Why would you want to play a card that just lets you play another card? Well, you're about to find out. Off of that, however, I am going to play Restraining Grapple. Power is select a target, reduce damage dealt by that target by one until the start of your next turn. If an Accelerate entered play this turn, increase damage dealt to that target by one until the start of your next turn. So more Accelerates powers up the things you can do. That being said, we're reducing all our damage by 10, so we really don't need that right now. I'm going to go ahead and use his base power again, ping one of the followers, grab an Accelerate out of his deck, shuffle and draw a card. Fright Zone plays incoming reinforcements. Start the environment turn if there are no other alert cards in play. Destroy this card. End of the environment turn if there are three or more alert cards in play. Play the top card of the environment deck. Okay. Well, thankfully, we take no damage and we don't get any more card plays. All right. The Faithful falls from grace fucking again. Sure, why not? At least they'll flip back next round. And hits the highest for four radiant damage, except there's... No damage, it's reduced by 10, and the servants also deal no damage. So until Lantern Jack's turn, cards can go in trashes, no problem. Pyral Gamma Burst. Let's take and tap a couple of cards in Night Mist's hand. Pyro deals that hero and each non-hero target X energy damage or X number of cards tapped this way. But that first one gets redirected to another target, we'll make it the Faithful. And he hits everything else for two. Power, I'm gonna use Chromodynamics again. Discard a card, take out the Alarmed Guard, and hit the Faithful for two. Draw a card, and someone can tap a card and use its power. Night Mist will tap this other tome and grab a spell. Okay, Amulet of the Elder Gods. Pyre can take out that follower. Oh, now they're not going to flip, though. Oh, well. She will reveal the bottom card of her deck. It's Heedless Lash. Yeah, let's go ahead and play that. Reveal the top card. It's a three, so she can discard two cards and hit the Faithful for three, and three, and put that card in her hand. Draw a card. Okay, Unbearable Brightness goes away, and we get hit for one. That'll be Skimmer. I think it's a good time for Vengeful Apparition. He deals himself one Infernal Damage, which means he heals one and gets a plus one, and then he gets a plus three. And so with his power, he deals eight Radiant Damage to the Faithful, hits himself for one, and draws a card. Love that. Skimmer is going to make a U-turn. Search your deck or trash for up to two Accelerates. Put them in your hand. If you shuffle your deck, if you searched it, you may play a card. Grab those last two Accelerates out of his deck. Shuffle. I am going to go ahead and just play two of them. Off of that, for Great Justice. Search your deck or trash for an equipment card. Put it in your hand or into play. Shuffle your deck if you searched it. If two or more Accelerates enter to play this turn, you may draw a card or play a card. You grab the Momentum Recalibrator. At the start of your turn, you may move an Accelerate from your trash to your hand. Not limited, notably. And then I can draw a card or play a card. I don't know if I need to save this. Let's just play this. Blast off. Skimmer deals a target for sonic damage. If this damage destroyed a target, you may destroy an ongoing card. Well, we'll hit the Faithful for four. Don't get to destroy any ongoings, but that's fine. With his power, he will hit the Faithful for one more. Throw an Accelerator back in his hand and draw a card. Start of the environment turn, destroy the reinforcements, and we get another alarmed guard. Second highest takes one lightning damage, and that is Skimmer again, which means he can hit them back for one. Oh yeah, and he also could have hit the Faithful for one. I forgot about that already. Okay, so we shuffle the bottom four cards, everything but the top one, into the deck. They don't flip. Strong Faith, Faithful regains four HP. Each villain target regains two HP. Faithful deals with two heroes with the highest HP, three radiant damage each. That is a Night Mist who will discard two cards to send that back into Faithful's face. End of turn, the highest for four, that is Night Mist. So she gets four repelling damage. Pyre will Atomic Punch and tap two cards in his own hand. Increases damage by one till the end of my turn, and he deals a target three energy damage. We space power, draw two cards, discard a card, draw another card. So we can tap a card and use its power. But he's got any freaking powers to use. Let's get a tapped Accelerate, that sounds like a good idea. All right, Master of Magic. And use Night Mist's base power. Mist Field Recovery. Kind of not worth it. Let's put that in your hand. I'd rather play that another time, I suppose. Lantern Jack, Searing Truth. Deals two targets and himself to radiant damage each. Hit the Faithful, hit the Guard, hit himself so he heals one and gets a plus one. And then with his power, hit the Faithful for four, hit himself for one, draw a card. Okay, start of turn. Skimmer can get an Accelerate out of his trap. And then he will Accelerate. Pyre will hit the Faithful for one, and he'll accelerate again, and he'll play for Great Justice again. And he will get Laser Wings. Power is Skimmer deals a target two energy damage. You may either draw a card or move an Accelerate from your trash to your hand. Because I played two Accelerates, I will draw a card off of that. And then let's go ahead and do Laser Wings. Two energy damage to the Faithful. Draw a card. Also, I've been forgetting the trash damage. Six pings. Draw a card. Fright Zone plays Cop Bluffing. Start the environment turn if no environment cards are destroyed this round, destroy this card. 
Okay. And then we return here with the lowest HP deals himself two psychic damage. Well, first the second highest takes a lightning damage. Oh yeah, Skimmer could have hit the faithful back three times. So we'll hit Skimmer and he'll hit back for one. And the lowest is Lantern Jack who heals one and gets plus one. All right, Faithful shuffles trash into deck and flips back over. Divine Punishment to discard the top card of each deck. Each player destroys a card that shares a keyword with the top card of their trash. Equipment limited, shit. I guess it'll be the Cherenkov Drive. That's a spell, so nothing happens. That's an ongoing, damn it. And that's a one shot, so Skimmer is good. The villain stand is on its the tower side. The Faithful deals each hero whose player didn't destroy a card this way each radiant damage. Holy shit. Okay, so that's four to Skimmer, who hits back for one. And four also to Night Mist, who will discard two cards, I think, and redirect that. This is a fast game all of a sudden. End of turn, reveal the top card. It is not a target. It gets discarded. Okay, wow. Fractured Control Rod. Pyre deals a target three toxic damage to the Faithful. I guess I'll keep his base power going. Draw two cards. Discard a card. Draw a card. Anybody got something they want to tap? We'll tap on Skimmer's cards. Or actually, let's tap on Lantern Jacks because playing them is not going to have any benefit just yet. Enlightenment time. She heals one. Top card is a three. She'll discard this Tome of Elder Magic and will destroy the Fraction Control Rod so she can play it. And then discard a second card to redirect that to the Faithful. And then she'll draw three cards. Bottom card of her deck. I'm feeling good about this. Oblivion? Let's not. Draw a card. Lantern Jack will Searing Truth again, do three damage to the Faithful, and I don't think Skimmer is going to be able to finish this game off. He gets plus one and he heals two, and then with his power, we win. Let's take a look at the rest of Skimmer's deck. That was a short game. Bring up to speed. Up to X players reveal the top card of their deck and either put it into play or into their hand where X is one plus the number of accelerates that entered play this turn. Lightning Calculation. You may use an additional power during your power phase. At the start of your turn, you may destroy this card to draw two cards. Tactical Retreat. Destroy it to X environment cards, where X is 1 plus the number of accelerates that enter play this turn. Barrel Roll. When Skimmer would be dealt damage, you may redirect it to a target of your choice and destroy this card. Overview HUD. First power is draw three cards, discard a card. Second power is select a target. Damage level of that target is irreducible until the start of your next turn. You may reveal and replace the top card of its deck. Aerial Surveillance. Reveal the top card of up to X decks, where X is 1 plus the number of accelerates that enter play this turn. Discard or replace each of those cards. You may draw a card or play a card. Disorienting wins. Select to X targets, where X is 1 plus the number of accelerates that enter play this turn. Reduce damage by those targets by 2 till the start of your next turn. And Frozen Time. If 3 or more accelerates entered play this turn, you may select a deck. Cards from that deck cannot be played until the start of your next turn. And there you go. Like I said, Skimmer's a very original take on a speedster, and he's a very fun support character. He's a very fun damage healing character, even. I like him. You can find him on Spooky Ghost Rider Comics. You can find the Faithful on the Pits Vault, I believe. And the Fright Zone, of course, is on Sentinels of Etheria. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks, everybody, for coming to chat. It was good having you here. Tabletop Soon, the River Sentinels Call on GLC, Spooky Ghost Rider Comics, Pits Vault, and Sentinels of Etheria, not only screening his products, please support the official release and flip.